Hello, everybody. Lancer here. Welcome you back to more Exit Fate of uh, the PC. And I believe now we need to head to Credence. Credence Castle. I think we need to head to Credence first to get a key or something. So we're going to head there. And we're going to get into a battle right before we get there. And yeah, see? I know what's going to happen before it even happens. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, in my opinion. Get a row strike, because can. Just attack the freaking red one, because he sucks, and yeah. It's good times being had here. Bam! So I don't remember last time, did I upgrade like weapons and armor and stuff? I think I did, but I don't remember exactly. But if I didn't, oh well, it's not that big of a deal. We're okay either way, but... Yeah. It hasn't been that long since I recorded this last. Like a few days, but... I don't remember if we did that or not, but whatever. I think we want to head here first. Credence! We kind of stepped into here once, but we didn't really look around. How's it going? Are you the priest? Welcome to Credence, a small but loving town in Matrac. Okay, I guess you're not the priest, but we'll just look around. This definitely has a Sukoden 2 look to it, of course. 14 on a night. I don't need to stay. You don't really need to stay at inns much in this game, honestly. With, like, the heal every battle kind of thing. With mend and everything. Each to their own, I guess. What are you talking about? Did I miss a conversation? I don't know what's going on. Whoa. Can, can we recruit the band here? I hope they're not going to play any loud music. My ears are sensitive. Yeah, yeah, meh. I prefer something more tasteful. Hmm. Teej? Man, this place is totally dead. Our world tour is never gonna get off the ground like this. <laughs> Tiffany? Why do we have to perform here? This is like the worst place ever. I told you we should have gone to Matrak Teach, but would you listen? No! Chill out, okay? Everyone's gotta, like, start small or something. Ugh, this way we're gonna stay small forever! Okay, so can we, like, recruit you or something? Apparently not. Okay, whatever, dude. Maybe we can't recruit them yet. I'm sure you probably can at some point, but... Maybe you need a certain character in your party. That, that's probably what it is. Hey, what are you doing? I finished getting the supplies I needed. Seems you'll have to return home soon. You do that. Okay. I I'm liking the Chrono Cross music, though. Kind of fits for this town. You've entered our house uninvited, but it's okay since we're such hospital people. Oh, okay, well. See, that's the kind of attitude to have, you know? Credence Castle's been empty for years. It's kind of a spooky place, don't you think? Seems like it. Just as long as Necklord isn't there, it's all good. Uh-oh, something's going down. That looks like a priest, dude. That's him, isn't it? Isn't it? His name's just Priest, and he looks pissed for some reason. No time to waste. Beware, evil spirits, for I am coming. He's coming! Ah, bless you, my children. Like my shades? They're pretty cool, you know. I bought them in a dirt ball for a dollar. What was that all about? So I think he went to the castle, so we gotta go there now, but we might as well look around first. Although it's a small town, Credence is well known for its open-air market. Oh. I love the market, it's so full of life. Let's see, what do I need? I don't know. Oh, it's a store, okay. Uh, you don't really have anything new, just regular stuff, and regular stuff, and regular stuff. And we don't have any pr prism lenses, that's kind of weird. Maybe, maybe we should buy a few. Oh, not that, not that many. Five will be good for now. Just to have them, and whatever. I saw someone in bed. Why is that boy taking so long to get up? I don't know. Why don't you throw water on him? How about that? You always feel sick when we're going to church. Ah, oh, I see what's happening. Okay. 
Ah, oh, I feel so sick. I don't want to go to Sunday Mass. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, we'll just take a look over here. This would be, ooh, an equipment shop. Anything new? Anything exciting? Doesn't really look like it. Not really. Nope. Nothing new. It's always busy in this town. Well, except for Sundays. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Got a shop here. Know what's going on? Spells. Anything we really need? We could buy some more light rays, I guess, if we wanted to. I wouldn't mind getting some more of... Uh, 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 at least some of these spells. Have at least two of each one. buy another men just because in my opinion you can never have enough men's it's just the way it is how's it going I'm not worried about Kiragar I know we'll be fine oh. well at least you're positive about it you're not all mr. negativity about everything so that's kind of good to see who's this dude he looks wait a minute this is that guy that we missed we, we, Apparently, from what I've read, you can actually recruit this guy much earlier, but I didn't because I suck, and yeah. This is Stromgard! Hey there, have we met before? Kind of. My name's Stromgard. I'm sort of an explorer. I finally managed to get here from Hillman Island as a stowaway on a ship, but it's so hard to get around right now. Come join us, dude. What? You're in some kind of army? Yep. Huh, that's an interesting story. I guess there's not much else I can do right now, and there's a lot more of the country I can see if I come along with you. Damn straight. Alright, you've got a deal. I'll stick with you for the time being. Alright. So we got him now. Don't have to worry about seeking him out, because he's in our party, and it's pretty awesome, and... Um... Yeah. I think we're good. Okay. Okay, just let the Chrono Trigger music keep rolling, why don't we? How's it going? That's a shame. Show some respect and be quiet. The guy over there is snoring! Why don't you yell at him? Damn, dude. Shh! Do you mind? I'm listening. Sorry. These people are touchy. The keys to the castle. Oh, I'm very sorry. I gave them to a priest who was just here. Yeah, I saw him. Wow, what are the odds? Well, if he's going to the castle, we'll just have to go after him. Yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to head to Creedence Castle. And it's going to be like the most epic thing that has ever happened in the history of time. Probably not, but you get the point. See, I'm overselling it. It's the way it is. We'll go ahead and save before we head there. In case it like opens up with a boss battle, because you never know. Uh-oh. Council's talking now, it looks like. Oh, it's this dude. Gentlemen. Thank you all for being present here in Matrek today. I don't like this guy already. Seriously. I have asked for a special meeting between governors because I believe there are certain things that need to be discussed. Things that have great significance to all of us. Unfortunately, we still have one empty seat today. Governor Hillbrand of Helmand Island was recently taken captive by Kiergaard after the fall of Harlington. Oh yeah, we had something to do with that. I do not want the same fate to befall on any of you. That's why action must be taken before the situation deteriorates further. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Is that how you say that name? Bonk, 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 bonk. Are we going to be the only ones here? It's unusual to call for a private meeting without the chancellor. We have full authority to call for a meeting among ourselves if we deem it necessary. There is no need for the Chancellor to attend every single meeting. This dude has bad intentions. You, you can just tell by the look on his face. If we do reach a consensus, then I will personally notify him of our opinions. Additionally, one of today's issues concerns some of the Chancellor's recent decisions. I want you all to be able to speak freely. Speak freely? Just what are you hinting at? I don't know what exactly you want to talk about, but that's a dangerous thing to say. Can we really trust each other to keep quiet about what's said in here? Don't misunderstand me, Governor Bonk. Unlike you, perhaps, I have nothing to hide. 
There is nothing suspicious about my motives, even if we can sometimes be hesitant to speak what's on our minds when the Chancellor is present. I want to know what you really think. Governor, just Governor, no name, just Governor. Enough dancing around the issue, tell us straight up why we're here. There's only one reason you could have called for this meeting, and that's the war. What's all the secrecy for? Hit the rhyme. Relax, Miller. Are you suddenly feeling the heat now that Mayfall is most likely the next target? Your state isn't going to fall overnight. Just sit back and listen to what Governor Vosh wants to say. Yeah, Miller. Ha, easy for you to say, Bonk. Even if the Kierguard army is right outside the gates of Matrak, you can safely hide behind the Highland Mountains. You should so shut that bill. You should show some concern for the rest of us. That's what the State Union is about, isn't it? Quiet, you two. Save your petty squabbling for later. The Kierguard main army may not even be the most urgent danger. If anything, at least we all know how dangerous it is. No, I am referring to a more covert threat. I assume all of you are aware that a certain Kierguard colonel recently defected to our side. Oh, here we go. It has to be all about me, doesn't it? Colonel Vineyard. I've heard of him. He accompanied the state army when they got rid of the rebel forces in Grunthal. Is this going to be about him? Exactly. I take it you haven't heard the latest news yet. This man, who only a month ago was still leading his army against us, has been given a permanent post as commander of the Old Credence Castle. He reports directly to Captain Aaron herself, and he has special privileges that approach that of state army colonels with a proven service record. That's ridiculous! Why give him such a vital post so easily? Everything was authorized by the Chancellor, but despite my efforts, he refuses to listen to my protests. Chancellor Ryan is more concerned about the safety of Zelmany than any of us. This may be evidence that he is grasping at any straws to bolster our defenses. I certainly don't question the Chancellor's motives. No, I fear that he is simply being fooled by this cure guardian. Now, now, let's not jump to conclusions. It's possible Kierguard would try to infiltrate our ranks, but this is a bit of a stretch, don't you think? The Chancellor is not so easily fooled. Are you saying you don't take issue with the prospect of a Kierguard officer being in charge of defending our homeland? I say let him. He's being watched closely, right? We can use him for as long as he follows our orders, and get rid of him as soon as he becomes a problem. I don't like it either, but Bonk has a point. We can use him to our advantage. If Kiergaard strikes again, send this man to fight them. That will show us if he can be trusted or not. See, that's much better thinking. We shouldn't wait until the damage is done. We're talking about the very safety of this country. Governor Gallius, I haven't heard a word from you yet. What is your opinion on this matter? You could all talk at length about his, imposs his possible motives, but the question is simple. Is he a Kiergaard man, or is he a man from Kiergaard? Don't be too quick to assume that his ties to his motherland are stronger than his personal principles. The only one who, the only one who has really had the chance to speak to him is the Chancellor, and he has given him a chance. It's our duty to respect that. There you go. I agree. When it comes to national security, the Chancellor has the final say anyway. You are all being too passive. Why should we hold back? Do we need this man? No. The Chancellor is making a serious mistake. This man is posing a great risk to our nation at a time when we should be avoiding risks. We simply can't entrust a vital defense post to a cure guardian. Just watching him is not enough. I propose that we start actively looking for a way to rid ourselves of this man. The fact that he is from Kiergaard should be enough a reason. Anyone else we can find will only help our case. It's not a bad idea to stay on the safe side. If the situation calls for it, we can take action immediately. Good. I will put some of my men on this. I'll keep all of you notified of any new developments. What about you? Do you have anything to add?
the hell is that? I invited you to this meeting as a special guest because I'm aware that you're displeased with having a cure guard officer among us. Perhaps you could lend us a hand. Oh. You must be confused about my allegiance, Governor. I serve the Zelmany State Union, not your individual states. I'll give you a warning. You are free to criticize the Chancellor, but to conspire against him is treason. If you all start doing your own thing, the State Union is done for. Be good governors and take care of your own matters. There you go. It was a mistake to invite her. No matter what the Chancellor does, she will stay loyal to him to the end. She will come around. If we can gather enough evidence against that man, she'll be a valuable ally. All we need is time. Dude, I don't like that guy. Not at all. Credence Castle, okay. Hmm, what's going on in here? Got some stuff going on. Oh boy, we got this priest dude just hanging out. Wait! Stand back. Whoever you are, I advise you to turn back. This castle is a den of evil, and no place for the inexperienced. Den of evil? I am Daniel Vineyard, special officer of the state army. Are you the priest who received the keys to this castle from the deacon at Credence? Indeed I am. Hmm. The state army, you say? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Luther, certified exorcist from the Rocaine Holy Empire. Have you also been sent here to dispose of the vampire? There's a vampire? Oh, jeez. A vampire? Here? I haven't heard anything about that. I'm just here to inspect the castle. Vampires are notoriously good at disguising themselves. A novice such as you could not detect them so easily. I have been hunting down this particular vampire for years. At last, the time to purge this evil has come. So, what makes you think this vampire is living here now? People in town have heard strange music coming from this castle at night. Well, like organ music? Strange music? Indeed, organ music. God, I'm so good. And this is evidence that there's a vampire? More or less. All vampires play the organ, and if all vampires play the organ, then one who plays the organ is most likely a vampire. Maybe. I... see. Oh, and undead creatures have also been roaming around. Well, that's a good sign. Oh, but the organ music is much more important? I see you understand. Now, if you would excuse me, I have a holy duty to attend to. Hold on, since we have business at the castle as well, maybe we could assist you, Father. Do you think I cannot handle this vampire by myself? I was banishing evil spirits before you were even born. No, no. I can sense your hesitation. You don't have to be afraid, my son. Come, we'll venture inside together. I shall protect you all. Well, whatever works. So Luther joins the party. That's pretty swell, if you ask me. Uh, We'll get rid of Cole for now, I guess. We'll put Luther in, and yeah. Because I think you have to. So... So we can go inside now, but from what I hear, there's some pretty tough enemies inside, so you might want to grind if you're not very prepared. I don't know if I'll need to do that, though. Let's check out Luther. See what's going on with him. Holy Water Sprinkler. He's in a pretty good level, too. He's got some good stuff going on. Hmm. It's interesting. Aura. Not sure what that does, but... Hmm. Maybe I should... You know, I think I'm actually going to put him in. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's like long range or what, but I don't know. Let's check his equipment. See if he's got some good stuff going on. Luther. 
give you a full helmet. Quilted coat seems good. Leather boots. You can do better than that. Give him iron boots. See here, we'll give him... He seems to be a pretty good magic user. So we'll give him... Could give him a copper ring to raise his magic. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. He seems to be mainly a magic dude, so... There's something over here. No, it's just like stuff you can't really do or whatever. Can't go this way, but I'm guessing we'll be able to later. Kind of like in Sukoden too. But I think for now we're going to head back. And we'll call this an episode. So when we come back, we're going to be actually heading into Credence Castle and yeah. Maybe we'll find some vampires, and some undead, and some whatever else, and good times will be had. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you next time.